been a while since we've had a chat, like a proper chat. I've got my plate of stuffing and my little cup of gravy so I can, I can have them. Oh, here's a fun story. Right, so I was at a train station, as you know, you do when you want a train. And it was f a Friday night. I mean, there was these two women come on board. They were really drunk. And I was wandering about. And one of them came up to me and was just like, what train, time's the train? And I was like, oh, it's at half 12. And she was, this was half 12 at night, right? They're not just like afternoon drunkards. And then this other guy who came up and I was like, oh, shady. I was like, who's your friend? And she was like, oh, he's just some guy from work. I was like, okay, good, guy from work, that's fine. How do you know? So you're all work friends? And she's like, yeah, no, we're all cops. I was like, what? And she's like, yeah. And then we looked over and then the her two friends were just crazy going at it. Like she was on top of him, like riding him. And then she, they were just like making out. Like, uh, uh. No, it's a level of drunk kissing where it's like, you're just like licking their face. Okay, so if, if this was his tongue and I'm her, this looks Awful already. Okay, I'm gonna do it in a bit. So it's just like, uh, 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 and then his tongue was just like uh, here, and they were like, oh, and that's how they were made. That was the weirdest description I have, I think, anything I've ever done. That's exciting, isn't it? And I was like, oh yeah, and they like a thing. And she was like, yeah, kind of. He's married though with kids. And I was like, what? I finished my stuffing. I'm like, there's some gravy in, so if you want it, I'm just gonna leave it here. So the train came, so we all got on. They were at like a table, which seats four people, but there's only three of them. So I was like, I ain't missing this out. So I sat with them. They were still crazy making out on the seats. Like it was insane. All of a sudden, just before the train leaves, dude just flips out and he's like, oh my God, what am I doing? I can't do this. I have a wife and kids and I'm happy and I'm married. And, oh God, I love you so much. You're so beautiful. Oh no, I can't. My life is such a shambles, I'm such a bad husband. And at this point I was like, well, yeah, you're pretty shit as a human being. <laughs> he did the thing where, have you seen the video of the guy, um, he gets up, he goes into his room and he's like crazy and, he's, and he like tries to stick a remote up his butt and then he like opens a cupboard, enters it, shuts the door, opens it again and then leaves. That's what happened, that's not what this guy did. <laughs> so the guy left the chair Walked up, opened the doors, waited for the doors to shut, opened the doors again, walked back down, sat back down, stood up, and then left the train. So he got off the other way. So he calls her, and he and she picks up the phone. She's like, hey? And he's like, I, I can't hear, but this is what I assume. Hey, oh, how you doing? She's like, oh my god, I love you so much. I can't believe we're finally doing this. And so this, it's, it's a soap opera, is what I'm listening to. And he was, and then he was like, it must have been like, oh, I, I want to be with you, but I don't want the kids to find out, naturally. I mean, not only the kids, probably the wife as well. And she was like, yeah, we should, do you want to meet tomorrow and we can talk about this? Do you want me to text you? Or do you want you to text me? Blah, blah, blah. He was like, whatever, baby. I just want to be with you. Again, paraphrasing, I don't actually know what he said. He was like, okay, bye. I love you. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Boop. Hung up the phone. And she was like, right then. Put the phone down. And then another moment of silence, and she was like, we got any bread? And I think I lost it then. I have never laughed so much. Immediately, I was like, oh my god, you just had an affair. Why are you thinking about bread? Oh man, it was the best train journey I've ever had. Ever. I want you to top it. Please top that train journey story. I dare you.